Hi everyone. Okay, we're going to take a look at a, a trig word problem here. A Ferris wheel with a radius of 10 meters rotates once every 60 seconds. Okay, we're going to just, before we read anything else, we're just going to stop right there for a quick second. A Ferris wheel with a radius of 10 meters. Okay, that is telling me something, and what that's telling me right now is that the A value for whatever the equation is, the A value is 10. If you think about what A is, amplitude is the distance from the center of the motion to the top, center of the motion to the bottom. Well, that is the radius of the wheel. When you think about it, when you're at the very top of the, the Ferris wheel, you are one radius away from the center of the motion. And when you're at the bottom, you're one radius below the center of motion. So right there, boom, the radius is equal to the amplitude. Uh, it rotates once every 60 seconds. Well, right there, hey, what's that telling us? That's the period. Period is 60 seconds. Now, that tells us, okay, because we know that period is 2 pi over b, so we can say b is equal to 2 pi over 60, so b is going to equal pi over 30. Uh, okay, I don't even know what the question's asking at this point, but, but those bits of information are given to me so that I can determine a and b. So, first sentence, I already know something about this problem. Okay, passengers get on board at a point two meters above the ground. Okay, so what that's telling me, and, and sorry, this is at the bottom of the Ferris wheel, and so what that's telling me is what the D value is. Okay, so here's the ground, here's the Ferris wheel. I know that they're getting on. Okay, uh, sorry, that's not D. There's a, a two meter separation here. Okay, and then this is the radius of 10. So the center, and this is the D value that I was hope to, hoping right before, this is going to be 12 meters. Has to be 12 meters. So already I know a fair bit about this just from that little brief description here. So write an equation. Ah, okay, good. There it is. We got already three quarters of it. Uh, to model the path of a passenger on the Ferris wheel where the height is a function of time in the form an a cosine of bx plus d. And look at that. We weren't even asked to find the c value. Now that's a, that's a pretty common thing to do on these exams because we know that the, the horizontal phase shift can cause a lot of difficulties. So that's all we needed to do. Uh, the last little bit here tells us that the A value is negative. Well, I know that the A value is 10, so my equation is going to look like this. It'll be negative 10 cosine of pi over 30x plus 12. Done.